morning. <clears throat> the Washington Square Park. So yesterday, you know, over the last few days it happens, I've been asked quite a few times about why I bounce around a lot. Why I, uh, especially businesses, bounce around a lot. Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is things have a shelf life. Like a bottle of milk, they have a shelf life. And that shelf life, I need to hit when it's peaking. So to, to um, quote Sir Jimmy Goldsmith, philanthropist, self-made billionaire, who was actually uh, portrayed on the first Wall Street movie. One of the uh, quotes he's most famous for, and there's, there's many of them, one of them was, when you marry your mistress, you create a job opportunity. It's not that one we're talking about today. Think about that. It's the one where if you can see a bandwagon, you're already too late. So I try and position myself ahead of trends and ahead of things. And am I always correct? No. Is it always what I want to be doing? Well, sometimes I, you know, I, I start things and I start businesses and generally I'll work at something for three months, which doesn't seem like a long time, but that's quite a long time. The way tech and research and things change these days so fast, you know, live streaming now, I could be doing this on, uh, what do they call, Meerkat or the other one, live streaming, I've not quite got to that yet, but um, the way things change so fast, three months is an eternity. We have no idea where we're at three months from now, where markets are at, what's trending, what's not. And I try and position myself and sometimes I get involved with things that turns out they're not a fit for me. And one thing that's not a fit for me is I get overwhelmed with tech. No, you know, no secret there. It's just not a fit for me. So right now, you know, the blogging thing, is a great idea and it works fantastic but if it's taking me five hours to write something I can do five minutes on a video like this it's not a great use of my time and it's going to end up with me throwing computers out of windows very often so you know right now I'm looking for a I don't even know what you call them vlog 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 whatever vlog video blog thing so I'm looking for one of those now, make my life easier, so the content is, is out there. But the reality is, turn your passion into profit. What is it you're doing today to derive a stream of income? Whether that's a job job, whether you're running a business, whether you're retired, I don't, you know, I don't know. What is it you're doing today to derive that stream of income? And is it your passion? And don't fucking tell me I love my job in an office because people like, fuck off, would you do it for nothing? Would you do it for free? Would you sit in traffic every day or use a subway every day to go somewhere free? And if your answer is yes, Ask yourself that again, but this time gaze into a mirror and look yourself in the eyes. And yeah, sure, there's going to be a, a tiny percentage of people that applies to. But that is a tiny percentage of people. No doubt. So this morning, I get up early, which I usually do. usually wake up early. I get up early. By the way, if you've seen that movie, I Am Legend, that's the house with the zombies. This is where it's filmed. There's no zombies in the park. Well, there's a few that look like that. So, I'm going all over the place here. I get up, I get up early, which I normally do. I do my thing, you know. I don't I don't rush into my day. I spend an hour just generally fucking around. And um, then I get on the subway. And I realize I've... I've just jumped ahead of the of the rush and I had a, a client to train with at 8 o'clock this morning. Why? Well, two reasons. Number one, if I've got to be somewhere at 8 o'clock in the morning, it means I'm, I'm preparing myself and getting a night's sleep out of it. Number two, it's a nice part of the day. I like getting up early in the morning. So, my passion. I love, you know, what I do. I, I instruct Krav Maga self-defense. There's a lot of 
uh, reward in that when you know it actually affects people's lives and that works and I enjoy it and what I do it for nothing yeah you know if I had endless streams of money coming in from everywhere else to sustain it of course I would so this morning I'm on the subway and I'm looking around and looking at people thinking you know what I can see off your face your profit is not coming from your passion so you know do we even know what our passion is what's your passion and what I'm finding now is I spent two years in the health and fitness industry which basically involved me hanging around in gyms for two three hours a day and just shooting the shit with with people who were fairly positive and you know they were great seeing the clients get results or really love training themselves and it, it seems to be that most trainers or instructors I know have that passion in the first place there's not much money in it but for the most part they have that passion in the first place so my question to you is this what is it that you're passionate about I told this to my son you know he's dropping out of college or school or whatever at college whole week of college uh, school you know find out what it is you enjoy doing what do you enjoy doing all right figure out a way to derive an income from it so you won't have to work you'll just be having fun all day so I don't know what your passion is probably not mine but right now my other passion is hanging around coffee shops and shooting shit with people that's what I'm gonna do right now yeah but that doesn't make any income eh, it does it doesn't but that's not you know that's not what I'm going there for it makes connections and I you know I just I love connecting with people and meeting people and then from there life has a strange way of a strange way of aligning itself with what you're actually doing so right now I've got that I've got more clients I've got stuff to do that I love doing this guy right now was here before me this morning turning his passion into profit so from Washington Square Park that's how it's done have yourself a fantastic day go find your fucking passion